Hey everybody, today we're going to be making a um, stuffed Mexican green peppers and uh, I think they're going to be really good. I'm looking forward to trying these and this is a recipe that uh, there may be one out like it. I'm not sure. I haven't heard of it, but one that I kind of thought of what would go good together and Kaylin and I love Mexican and my husband loves green peppers, so um, this is what I came up with to um, make all of us happy, so to speak. So anyway, for the moment, I'll just show you what's going on. And I have my hamburger cooking, and it is a roll of 7327, uh, and it's three pounds. And I bought... 15 green peppers because I'm gonna use three of these tonight so that'll make six halves and um, with the other halves I'll fill them with the uh, stuffing that I'm making and then I'll individually put them in sandwich baggies and then put those as many sandwich baggies with the peppers into a freezer gallon size bag and put them in the freezer and then as we want some we can just pull them out and put them in the oven and bake them and sometimes I parboil my green peppers but I will be cooking these with a um, pretty much sauce in them and um, I'll be cooking them uh, starting out covered and I think between those two things, I won't have to parboil the green pepper because they will just um, get soft and cook on their own. So I'm letting the hamburger cook and brown. And when it gets um, pretty well cooked, I'm going to drain the excess grease off. And when I do that, then I'm going to have this onion cut up in uh, diced and I'll put it in the pan with the hamburger and I'll let it saute and uh, get translucent and soft and uh, then that'll be that for the hamburger um, over here let me clean it up a little bit over here I have my water coming to a bowl so I can cook rice. And here, let me move this. I'm putting refried beans in the peppers. And I thought about just going ahead and getting refried beans and then I thought I think it will taste better if I make my own. So, I bought a can of pinto beans. Let me go ahead and put my rice in the water. My water just started boiling. And let me grab a lid. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and just make my own refried beans. When I cooked these, all I did was put, uh, rinse the beans off real well and added water and let them just start cooking. And so probably I should put these in a bigger pan, but, or a bigger pot, but this will be okay. And uh, it's going to take a little while of mashing to get a kind of like a paste. And when I get that accomplished, then I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of this. Not much left, but it's um, like a taco seasoning. I'm going to add that to my beans. So that's where I'm at right now. 
what I'm going to do is um, prepare my pepper to put the filling in it. I'm going to let the rice cook. I'm going to get the beans mashed. Uh, the hamburger cooked with the onion sauteed in it. And when I get all that done, I'll come back and we will get it put together. Okay, we're back and ready to continue on working with our uh, Mexican pe uh, uh, green peppers. And um, I'll put you down so you can see. The hamburger has cooked. I put the onions in and they have become mostly translucent and soft. The mixture I showed you that was just a taco seasoning, I put about two tablespoons in the beans and I put about two tablespoons in the meat. The rice is just very slightly undercooked. <clears throat> Excuse me, undercooked, which is good because you're going to be cooking this in the oven for a while and uh, your rice will finish up cooking um, when it's in your pepper. So go ahead and mix your rice with your hamburger or ground beef. And then just stir that up. And this is a lot of mixture. Um, I told you I had a lot of peppers I'm going to fill and freeze. And if I didn't have those extra peppers, I could put this in um, baggies or freezer containers and have it for next time I wanted <coughs> peppers and do it that way. So now that we have that mixed, I have some picante sauce. And I want this, as I told you, to be fairly saucy. I'm going to put about two cups, and we'll see how that looks. And this is the mild, because we don't handle um, strong heat very well. And so this is not going to be enough sauce. So I put about, ooh, that splashed right up in my eyeball. I put about two more cups. And I believe this will do it. And you know that um, because the rice is not quite completely cooked, it will expand just a little bit in your pepper. So you want to give it that little bit of room in your pepper to expand. So that's ready. I have the, the three peppers cut up in halves. I cut them long ways. I just think it's easier for me to do it that way. So I'll set that there and I'll show you how we'll feel it. So I'm gonna take some of my beans and they are fairly creamy and thin. They're just like I want them to be. I don't like them when they're so stiff and hard. So I'm going to put one big spoonful in each pepper. Or if you have bigger peppers, you might want to put a little more. In some of these, I might add just a little more. I might should have gotten a bigger pan. You want to have enough in there that you know that there's some beans. Okay. Now, on top of your beans, add just a little cheese. If you want a lot of cheese, put a lot. 
I'm just going to put not a whole lot. And for quicker cleanup, I just um, covered my baking dish with this aluminum foil. Because, you know, um, trying to clean baked on cheese can get rough. So then, we're going to go back with our meat and shovel it in. And I told you, you know, leave a little room, but as you can see, I'm getting pretty heavy handed with it. But take the end of your spoon so it can get down in all the nicks and crannies. I bought some sour cream to to have with this uh, sour cream, guacamole, uh, whatever you think that you'd like to have with it, I'm sure would be good. Okay, I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let it bake for about 40 minutes on 400. And then I'll take the um, aluminum full off. I think I said I would cover it. I'll take the aluminum full off, put a little cheese on the top, stick it back in for just a few minutes and let that melt. And then they'll be ready and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, the uh, Mexican stuffed green peppers are finished and they look and smell really good. Um, the green pepper got soft, but it still has just the smallest amount of, um, I don't want to say hardness, but maybe firmness to it. Uh, I don't believe it will have a crunch, but it's still got, uh, just a little bit of whatever the word is I'm looking for. So, if you don't like that, cook it a little bit longer or um, boil them before you fill them. And these went for about 45 minutes. And uh, I wanted to say after about 20 minutes, um, I felt like I wanted them with more um, of the, uh, not salsa, but pecani sauce than what I put on it. So I took the aluminum foil off the top and I poured a little bit of the pecani sauce over the top of it and um, put it back in just because we wanted uh, more sauce than what it had. You do what you and your family will like and it will be right for you. So here they are. And I have a plate here. And I'll get one up. There's what it looks like. Um, I'm going to put just a little bit of um, sour cream on it. There it is with the sour cream. One day I'll get a good tripod. But until then, this is what we're working with. So, this really does smell good. The pepper cuts right through.
Wow, that is good. The green pepper to me is perfect because it's not, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not just falling apart, but it's holding its shape, but it's so tender. That is really, really good. And I like the sour cream on it. So that is um, our recipe today. I hope you give it a try. Really good. And uh, take care. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.